Hello, hello. How are you today, guys? Hello, fine, gracias. Awesome, awesome. I'm doing good. You know, you're not asking me probably, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. You know, I'm still alive. Todavía estoy vivo, así que ahí vamos, vea. There we go, right? So that's what we have to say, right? Okay. Now, let's just get right here. Uh, okay. All right, guys. So let me share my ask screen right now so you guys can see okay guys so do you have any question about anything before we continue i mean before we start right here alguna pregunta algo que tengan por ahí chicos that you want to say or anything teacher tell me ayer este no me puede conectar con un problema familiar entonces en ningún momento de la clase Uh -huh. eh, por ese motivo no sé si puede hacer una pequeña introducción de la clase de ayer rapidito no para nah, just kidding no. yes <laughs> <laughs> yes don't worry please <laughs> don't worry sí no no se preocupe está bromeando bueno, gracias <laughs> yeah, we will do a little recap okay we will do a little recap so you're good don't worry mm -hmm. okay all right cool um but before that, we would like to work with this uh, sentence right here, uh, with this phrase. So, the phrase of today, guys, it says, once you choose hop, anything's possible. So, what do you think? Mm -hmm. I'll give you two minutes. Les doy dos minutos para que puedan ahí pensar en su super opinión. In your super opinion. Mm -hmm. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just your opinion, okay? Uh -huh. Volunteers, voluntarios. Mm -hmm. No, nadie. I think uh, mm -hmm. I can achieve anything if if I put my mind to it. To it. Mm, that's a very nice opinion. Yes, that's cool. You know, yes, yeah. You know, I mean, if you put your mind on what you're doing, you can achieve anything. You know, like you can basically get anything. And so that's why the phrase says, "Once you choose hop, anything's possible." In other words, like if we say in Spanish, una vez eliges la esperanza, todo es posible, right? Otra vez, no elijo las, las frases así como, ay, qué bonita esta, yo solo las pongo, okay? <laughs> I just put them, all right? <laughs> so don't, don't, don't think that I'm choosing these words just because I want to show that ones. But that's what it says. Once you choose hop, anything's possible. Okay. Thank you, Antonio. Um, Alejandro Antonio, thank you for your opinion. That's a very nice opinion. Anyone else, guys? 
Mm -hmm. Okay, Christian, tell me. It's never too late to be one you want to be. Mm, that's nice, yeah. It's never too late to be what you want to be. That's pretty good, you know. So in other words, no matter what you're doing or what you were doing before, you're going to start now, right? Yeah, good. Thank you, Christian. Uh-huh, Christian, tell us. Um, hope is the last thing you lose. Sorry, can you say that again? Hope is the last thing you lose. Yes, definitely. Hope is the last thing you lose. Mm -hmm. So, even when you say oh, English is hard, no, say hope is the last thing you lose. Incluso cuando digan, no, el inglés que cuesta. No, la esperanza es lo último que se pierde, dice Crisia. So, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, let's keep it up. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Crisia. Anyone else? Any other volunteer? One more. One more participation. Una más. One more. Mm -hmm. Iris, what do you think? Uh, everything is possible if we have hope placed in use. Mm, okay, so anything is possible if you have the hope placed in us, I think you said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good, you know. So I, I agree with that, guys. I mean, anything is possible as long as you believe that you can do it. So, si usted piensa y cree y de verdad que le va a entrar con todo el inglés y que va a, uh, uh, y que va a, como dicen ahí, a uh, um, aprender, pues démosle, right? You will do it. So, if you don't lose it, if you don't lose that, you will never do it, right? I mean, you will keep it up. Okay, so with that being said, guys, let me see. Okay, give me a second. Okay, cool. All right, so now I'm going to call the attendance, guys. And if you're here, uh, I would like you to do me a favor and say present or I'm here or anything you guys want to say in order to say that you're here, okay? So Abigail, Elizabeth. Thank you. Let's go with Alejandro Antonio. Present. Anderson Jeremy. Present. Okay. Blanca Stephanie. Present teacher. Briseida Lisbeth. Okay. Let's go with Camila Lisette. I'm here. Thank you. Let's go with Carlos Aníbal. Present. Mm -hmm. Cecia Gemima. Yeah, así Cecia. Uh, Claudia Marisela. Okay, let's go with Christian Daniel. I'm here. Elsie Gabriela. Emilio Isaac. Okay, yeah, I got it. And then let's go with Estela Elizabeth. Estela Marisol. Present. Okay, thank you. Fernando Jose. Floricia Menjibar. Present teacher. Okay, got it. Okay. So let's go with Glenda Guadalupe. Hey, sir, Marcela. Ingrid Esmeralda. Present. Mm -hmm. uh, Iris Milena. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jaime Alexander. Jaime Ivan. Yeah, here, teacher. Thank you. Juana Isabel. 
Present teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Karina Jamilet. Carla Joana. Presente. Thank you. Uh, Carla Marcela. Present. Kevin Joel. Okay. Crisia Dorila. I'm here, teacher. And Lazaro. Present. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for helping me with the attendance. I really appreciate that, okay? All right, so as I was telling you, um, well, basically this is the phrase that we were discussing, you know, and it says that once you choose hop, everything's gonna be possible, right? I mean, as, as Crisia said before, the hop is the last thing you lose, right? And that's the way it should be, you know? We should be like focused on everything and believe that we can get or that we can fulfill our dreams or the things that we want to fulfill, okay? Uh, basically, that's what we need to focus on, right? Now, um, with that being said, uh, we're going to continue with what we left off last class. And if you guys remember, yesterday we started talking about the present continuous, right? However, though, we are going to... Um, I was like, do a little recap about what we were talking yesterday. So you, you just guys remember that. And so as Floricia was asking for that as well. So Floricia, yesterday, what we were talking about, uh, it was it was just a little recap about the time, you know, like we have the time expressions, like in the morning, noon, in the afternoon, midnight, at night, in the evening. So those are time expressions. That's gonna be something that we will that will help you. But we were also talking about the rising and falling intonation. The rise intonation, when do we use the rise intonation, guys? Who can tell me? Mm -hmm. When do we use the rise intonation? Mm -hmm. A ver si no pasamos de noche ayer. When <laughs> is uh, yes. no question. Yes, for just now questions, we use the rise intonation because it goes up, right? Because it actually goes up. Like, is she getting up, right? It starts here and it goes here. Like, then it's like, are they sleeping? You know, so it goes, it goes from here to here, right? And then we have the falling intonation, which is basically for what? When do we use falling intonation, guys? WH questions. For WH questions, like, what's she doing? You know, what's she doing? What are they doing? Right? That's basically when we use it. And so that's basically what we talked about yesterday, Floricia. You know, it was just about rising intonation, falling intonation. Okay? That's pretty much what we were doing. And we actually started discussing a little bit about the present continuous. And that's actually where we're going to continue right now, okay? So, um, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, cool. Now, questions about that? Uh-huh. No? Okay. I mean, if you guys have questions, you know, you can ask me, okay? All right, just so you, just so you guys remember, the final exam, it's up. Uh, you have until tomorrow midnight to do it, okay? That's what it is. Tell me. And I have a question for the novel that check 5.13. Mm -hmm. Uh but that's for the for the exam for the um for the final no, exam? It, no no it's the final exam is the novel novel check. Knowledge check. The five point thirteen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your question? Tell me. In the number eight, uh, it's a it, it's a video with in the audio, mm -hmm. and in the number eight, I don't know what he doing in that moment. I think it's shop. Uh, it's uh, shopping, but I put in it and no, it's incorrect for the. And I don't know what 
she mm -hmm. doing? Okay, okay. Let's do something. Let me check it and then I'll let you know, okay? I'll let you know what it is, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. If we don't have time today, by tomorrow we'll do it, okay? But uh, again, I might check it at the end of the class and then I'll let you know. If I'm not able to let you know today, I'm going to let you know tomorrow as soon as we start the class, okay? Okay, no problem. All right, thank you. Okay, so just so you guys remember a little bit, I like to do something. I like to play right here this video. So you do just remember. And if you need to repeat, you can repeat, okay? So let's just remember that. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what? Then we have the verb to be, is. After that, we have the subject, Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City. 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's so I'm. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so that's pretty much what we were discussing yesterday, right? Now, I want you to focus on something right here. When we talk about the present continuous and WH questions, 
Mm, well, we need to, let me just reload it. I don't like this one because it just changed a little bit. So what, what we're talking about is basically, you know, we need to remember like this structure that we are going to use, okay? So for example, if I say right here, okay, what we need when it comes to the structure, the first thing, okay, let me ask you, ¿Qué es lo primero? What is the first thing that we need for a WH question? Mm -hmm. What is it? WH word. The WH word. What WH words do we have? We have what, where, when, why, how counts like a WH word as well, who, you know. Those are the WH words, okay? So that's the first thing. So in the structure, the first thing that you need, guys, is the WH word, sorry, WH word plus the bear to be plus the subject plus the verb in the ing form and or complement, okay? Okay, all right, wh word, verb to be, subject, verb in ing form, okay? So that's pretty much what it is. So for example, I can say, what are you doing? What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Right? So, let's see. WH word. Sí, tenemos la WH word. We have the bird to be. Yes, we have the bird to be. The subject. Yes, we have you, which is the subject. And we have the verb in ING form. La, el verbo en uh, la forma continua, que es ing, right? Do sería la forma original, right? Y después de doing, de do se viene y agregamos ing sería doing. Do, doing, play, playing, okay? So, and of course, we need the question mark. What are you doing? Okay, now be careful with this. Si usted le hace una pregunta, una WH question, ahí sí no vamos a responder yes o no. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that, okay? Ahí sí no vamos a hacer eso. Why? Because this, this requires you to give more information, okay? También esto se llaman information questions porque normalmente usted va a dar más información, no va a decir yes ni no. Porque si de repente yo le pregunto, ¿qué está haciendo? Uh, un ejemplo, Floricia. Y me dice... O oh, Floricia me pregunta a mi teacher, ¿qué está haciendo? Y yo le digo, yes. Floricia se va a quedar así como que, ¿qué? <ríe> ok, so what? <ríe> so, that's the thing, ok? So, yeah. that's the thing. So, be careful with that. So, then, when you are asked a question, you have to give a sentence. I mean, like, like a question. For example, an affirmative sentence, um, with a verb, I'm sorry, an affirmative sentence with the present uh, continuous will be subject plus um, the verb to be plus the verb in ing plus or complement, right? For example, si me preguntaran, what are you doing? Yo diría. Something like, let me change it. Let me move it. I will say something like, like this. I will say, I am teaching a class. Okay, veamos si cumple con lo que les acabo de decir. Subject, yes, I have the subject. The bird to be, yes, I got the bird to be. The verb in ing, yes. Aquí está el verbo en ING. El verbo normal, el verbo base es teach. Pero como para que sea 
uh, present continuous. Tiene que terminar en ing. So, teaching and a complement a class. So, I am teaching a class. También puede estar contractado. It can also be contracted. I'm teaching a class. Now, be careful with this. If you're, uh, if you're asked something, um, well, for any subject, el verbo to be tiene que hacer match con el subject que le están poniendo. Por ejemplo, si yo digo I, no puedo decir I, I is, right? Or I are. Mm -mm. I'll have to say I am, right? And so that's pretty much what we have. So, we're going to practice, you know, today, uh, the class will be more like speaking, you know, so we're going to try to speak a little bit more, okay? So that's pretty much what it will be. Now, let me just, that's the same thing. Let me just take you here. Okay. Now, here we have the question. For example, what's Victoria doing? And yeah, you know, it can be contracted. What's Victoria doing is what is Victoria doing? Okay, so if I ask you right now, let's see, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Abigail, what's Victoria doing? She is sleeping right now. Good job. She is sleeping right now. Now, Abigail, can you ask the next question to one of your classmates, please? Um, el siguiente, the next. What's Marcos doing? It's uh, 6 a.m. So he's very good. It's 6 a.m. So he's getting up. Mm -hmm. Getting up. Now you, ask the next question, please, to one of your classmates. Floricia, what are Sue and Tom doing? Um, they are having breakfast. Breakfast. Uh -huh, they're having um, breakfast. Mm -hmm. Fernando, está presente? Fernando, Fernando, no, he's not here today. Um, Carla Marcela, está presente. Sí, aquí está. Eh, what Celia doing? She's going to work. Okay. Now the next one, please. Um. Blanca Stephanie. What are James and Annie doing? It no no so they they are eating lunch. It is Milena. What and Andre doing? He's working. What mm, teacher? What is the pronunciation? What first first thing? Oh yeah, first permsack. Permsack. Perm okay. <laughs> what permsack doing? Eh, Estela Marisol. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia ahí, teacher? Eight, no, ¿cómo se dice? He o his. Ajá, uh -huh, his ate dinner already. No. He's eating dinner now, 
Repeat, he's eating dinner now. He's eating dinner now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now the next one, please. What? ¿Cómo se pronuncia ahí? Hero. Hero. She. Mm -hmm. What? Hero. She. Doig. Eh, quiero ver. Aníbal. He's watching television. What are you doing, eh, Isabel? X, so I am. Okay, yeah, that's okay. So, what are you doing? Sería como, ¿qué estás haciendo? Entonces, diríamos como, it's es como son las 8.30. Entonces, so, yo estoy, am, um, what. Mm -hmm. Completemos, hay que completar. ¿Cómo lo podríamos hacer? For example, I am learning English. Okay, yes, that's one example. Mm -hmm. um, Chris, Christian, what's the other one? Mm -hmm. It's 8.30, so I am in class. I am? ¿Qué está haciendo con la clase? A learning. Mm, we can say instead of learning... Taking, taking, taking the class, recibiendo o tomando la clase, right? So we can say something like, like this. It's, uh, I would say 8.30. So, it's 8.30. So, I'm taking my class, I will say. Or you can say my English class. So I'm taking my English class. And that's it, right? That's one thing that you can say. Okay, now guys. Remember that as I said, uh, you guys have to uh, like, remember that when they ask you uh, a WH question, you actually have to say or give more information. You won't say yes, you won't say no, okay? You will give more information about that, okay? So, questions about this so far? Hasta el momento, alguna pregunta? No, me van a decir. <laughs> Dígame que sí, pregúnteme cualquier cosa, okay? Bueno, si tienen dudas, si no, no, pues. <laughs> if you have a doubt, you can ask me. I'm here. Mm-hmm. No? Okay, cool. Let's keep on practicing. As I said, como les decía, ahora vamos a tratar un poquito más el speaking. Okay, we're going to try a little more. Uh, we're going to practice a little more with the speaking. But one thing I want to say before that is this. Okay. Una cosa que... Mm, no, I'm going to explain this after this, basically. Okay, so let's do something and... Oh my gosh, that's too much. Okay, anyways, let me leave it like this. So I'm gonna do something right here and I'm gonna ask you guys um, a few questions, okay? So for example, here we have the questions. So I'm gonna ask this question to Alejandro Antonio. Who is sleeping now? From the pictures that you see here. Who is sleeping? Who is sleeping now, Alejandro? Mm -hmm. um, Victoria. She, she's sleeping right now. Once again, repeat. She's sleeping right now. Mm -mm. I mean, yes. Yes, but just amazing. Ella, no, I had perdido. Okay. Victoria's <laughs> sleeping uh -huh. right now. 
<laughs> okay, Victoria is sleeping now. Okay, now, Alejandro, ask the question number two to one of your classmates, please. Um, who's having breakfast? Uh, Anderson, Jeremy. Yeah, it's it's a um, to his carry it out. No, yeah. say that again, please. Repeat it. Uh, it's a, six a.m. So his carry out. Mm, you're talking about Marcos, but the question says. Who's having breakfast? Uh, who? Like who? Quien? Who's having breakfast? O quienes? Mm -hmm. De todas las pictures que están aquí. Who's having breakfast? Mm -hmm. Wait, and don't. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they're. Having breakfast. No usemos they. Solo Sue and John. It's better. Sue and John doing. They're having breakfast. Okay. Let's remember the structure. Acordémonos de la estructura entonces, chicos. Cuando es affirmative, tenemos que usar subject, verb to be, the verb in ing, and the complement. So then I can say, I know this is difficult and don't worry. I mean, we will do it together, okay? So I can say, Sue and Tom, okay? Sue and Tom, so they, right? So what form of the bird to be goes with they? Are. Sue and Tom are. Que dice que tenemos que poner después del verbo to be? Ah, el verbo in ing. Okay. Sue and John, I'm sorry, and Tom are what? Having breakfast. Okay. Sue and Tom are having breakfast. That's what it is. Okay. So that's what you have to say. Can you say that, Anderson, please? Sue and Tom are having breakfast. Okay, cool. Ask the next question, please. Where Andre working, Alejandro? Where's 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 Andre working, Alejandro Antonio? Okay, cool. Another time, him. Okay. Um, Andre, he is working in the office. Repeat once again, please. Andre, he is working in the office. Okay. Andre is working in the office or at the office. Or we can say at Moscow. Right? He's in Moscow as well. All right. As the next question, please. Um, where's Hiroshi watching television? Um, hi, Mivan. Hiroshi watching television in Tokyo. Hiroshi, repeat, please. Repeat. Jaime, please. Excuse me. Uh, Hiroshi is watching television in Tokyo. Yes, good job. Hiroshi, Hiroshi is watching television. Mm -hmm. Good job. 
Thank you. Ask the next question, please. What Celia wearing? What's Celia wearing? What? To whom? I can. To whom? Uh, Claudia Maricela. I think she's uh, not here. Oh, there she is. Celia uh, warning to war Brasilia. Mm, it says, what's Celia wearing? Like wearing, like I'm wearing a t-shirt, I'm wearing a suitcase, I'm sorry, a suit. Mm -hmm. Like wearing. Como agotadora? Uh -uh. Wearing is usando. Um, uh, uh, and how do you say that in English? Um, <laughs> uh -huh. So you can say, um, Sylvia, um, okay, siga la estructura, okay. right here. Sería chaqueta. Sigamos la estructura. Sigamos la estructura para hacer una oración con el present continuous. Sí, sí, chaqueta. ¿Qué va primero en una oración? En base a lo que puede ver en mi pantalla, el subject. ¿Cuál sería el subject? Celia. Ok. Después. El verbo to be, ¿qué forma el verbo to be iría con Celia? Are you? No, you es un subject. Sí. Celia is. is. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Celia is. Chacat. No, yet. todavía no. Espérenme, <ríe> todavía no. Ok, entonces ahí tenemos Celia is. Y que nos están preguntando, nos están preguntando what Celia wearing, usando. Ah, no, hombre, ya me dieron el verbo acá, wearing, y ya está en ING también. Entonces, Celia is wearing, ahora sí, ¿qué está usando? Celia is wearing. Scarf, gloves. Ok, Celia is wearing um, a red blouse, for example, and boom, that's it. Or we can say a suit. It's como un traje, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And that's it. So just you have to remember the structure, like the subject, the verb to be, the verb in ing, and the complement. Sometimes the complement will will be the same thing as a, as a verb right here in ing, as a main verb. Okay? So now do me a favor. Please ask the next question to one of your classmates. Mm. Sería al uh, Anderson Jeremy. Ya le preguntaron a Anderson. Alguien más, por favor. Uh, bien. Varias. Isabel. Okay. Uh, what's Marco wearing? Marcos is wearing. Teacher, ¿me puede compartir pantalla? No les aparece, chicos, la pantalla. Uh, sí. A mí sí me sale. ¿Sí? Ahorita sí, sí. Ah, ok, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh.
Marcos is wearing um squaring. How do you say pyjamas in English? Okay. No? Okay, we can say pijamas. If you guys go back, si van de regreso en el material, chicos, a la parte del, um, de la ropa, ahí ustedes lo van a encontrar. Y pijamas, pajamas, we say it, pajamas, right? Right here, pajamas. Mm -hmm. So it's important that you have your material ready, okay, in every class. So you guys can check it anytime that you want. So we can say, Marcos is wearing pajamas. And that's what it is. Now, do me a favor. Can you please um, ask the next question? Uh, I think it was one of the one that was talking. So can you ask the next question to one of your classmates? Uh, well, where is Marco getting food? Eh, uh, quiero ver. A Estela Marisol. Tú, Estela Marisol. Uh -huh. eh, una pregunta. ¿Qué quiere decir? We is Marco. Why? Uh, es porque. Uh -huh. Getting up. Uh -huh. Levantarse. Levantándose. Ajá, uh -huh. bueno. Uh -huh. O sea, ¿qué tendría que decir ahí? Es que no entendí. Ah, la pregunta es, ¿por qué se está levantando Marcos? ¿Por qué cree? Uh -huh. Acá en base a lo que vemos a la imagen y lo que nos dice. Podría ser, tal vez, Marcos se está levantando porque ya son las seis. Mm -hmm. How do you say that in English? It's, it's all here. Aquí está todo. Mm -hmm. It's all here. Do you want to help, guys? You can help her. If you want to help, you can help. Mm -hmm. This is, I know this is a little difficult, but we can make it. Uh-huh. Anyone? Why is Marcos getting up? Marcos had the... Getting up. It are... No sé qué decir, me quedo. No entendí. Ok. Marcos is getting up. Marcos está levantando porque ya son las seis. Marcos is getting up because it's 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. Ok. All right. Can you ask the next question to somebody else, please? This one. Number We eight. And 
Um, James and Andy is having lunch. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, it says why. Why? Why? Um, no. like, uh, James and Annie are having lunch because. Porque. Uh, the request, right? Porque. Así que Michael estuvo aquí. Sí, anoche porque, vino para atacarme. Porque son las 12, pero no sé cómo decirlo. O sea, aquí lo tenemos. Día... Aquí está, mire. Because. No, tú escuchas. Sí, es no. Uh -huh. Because it's me. Yes. Está combinado. Es porque ya es medio día. Es que solo, solo disculpe que eso sí, este, no sé si lo dijeron eh, en la clase anterior o no sé si lo preguntaron. Eh, ¿Cómo es la pronunciación correcta? No. No. Uh -huh. No. Así nomás. Yes, just like that. Okay. Así. Okay. No problem. All right, guys. As I said, you know, today I wanted it to be a little more speaking, right? And that's what it was. So today we're going to do something else right here. And what we're going to do is the following. I'm going to ask you guys to write five more questions about the pictures. Then ask and answer your questions. We're not going to do it in groups, but just in one group, just with ask right here. So in your not on your notebook, you can write five um more WH questions about the present continuous. Okay. Podemos hacer cinco preguntas más sobre las fotos. Okay. So I'm gonna give you a few minutes. Let me know when you finish, guys, okay?
Let me know when you finish, okay? We have two more minutes, two more minutes. <clears throat> If you have a question, ask me, okay? I'm just right here. The questions can be about anything we see in the images. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. For example, like about Hiroshi, we can say, what's Hiroshi doing? Or we will, we can ask, what's Hiroshi watching, for example? Mm -hmm. That can be a question. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try to check it out right now. So who got one question? Let's see, let's check it. Okay, Iris, tell us your question. Uh-huh, Iris. Iris? Why is Victoria sleeping? Okay. Why is Victoria sleeping? What will be an answer? ¿Cuál sería una posible respuesta? Why is Victoria sleeping? Ajá, uh -huh, guys. What can you say? ¿Qué, qué creen, chicos? ¿Qué pueden decir? Uh -huh. Anyone? Iris, do you have the answer? Or anyone else? Why? Because it's 4 a.m. Because it's 4 a.m. Good job. Yes. So, siempre que les pregunten why, usted va a comenzar diciendo because. Que es because, pero de, uh, perdón, es porque, pero de, de respuesta, no de pregunta, right? Mm -hmm. Because. Mm -hmm. Now, Alejandro, what's your question? Do you have a question? Yes. Um... Puedo bajar un poquito, solo quiero ver. Ok, ok. Podría bajar un poquito la imagen, por favor. Sure. Gracias. What is Andre reading? What is Andre what? Reading. Reading, yes. Ok. What is Andre reading? Mm -hmm. What is he reading, guys? What could be an answer? He's reading uh, 
buildings. He is reading a buildings. Mm, a building. He is reading reports, probably. Reports. He is reading reports, probably. That would be one thing. Okay, guys. Como tarea, hagamos algo. Sigan ustedes escribiendo más preguntas y traten de darle las respuestas. ¿Por qué? Cuando hagan las preguntas, van a trabajar en la estructura de las preguntas. Y cuando estén dando respuestas, van a trabajar en la estructura de las oraciones afirmativas. Oh, podrían ser negativas también. Mm -hmm. So, that's going to be your homework, ¿ok? So, keep on practicing that. Uh, ¿Tienen alguna pregunta antes que los deje ir, chicos? Do you have any question before I let you go? No? Ok, Christian, I'm going to get the answer and we will check it tomorrow, ¿ok? I'm going to get it by tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Any other? Any question, guys? No. Okay. Sure. Uh, tell me. Tell me. How is a wh word? How is a wh word? Uh. Yes. 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 It's considered a wh word as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Abigail, tell me. Yes. Um, tengo una pregunta para ver si es un este, La formulación de, la, de una pregunta que yo hice. Bueno, dice varias, pero quiero o sea, estar segura. Este, ¿Sería who is drinking coffee? Sería who is bueno. drinking coffee? Yes, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Y que va siguiendo todos los elementos, right? W H okay. word, the verb to be, subject, verb in ing. So, yes, who is drinking coffee? Okay. It's okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Alguien más, chicos? Anyone else? No? Okay. So, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. You guys take care. And remember, you have to work on your platform. Okay? So, bye-bye, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. You guys take care. See you tomorrow.